What's up, y'all? MB here with a unboxing of the Dizzle Designs 1100D, 1100. This is a small footprint amp. I don't have you thinking that it's a full bridge amp, but it's not. It is half bridge topography, which is what I recommend for those who are using subwoofers. I do not recommend you use any full bridge amp on a subwoofer. Half bridge is where it's at. This is a small footprint amp, D1100, that you can get from your boy, MB, who is a Dizzle authorized uh, online digital design dealer. Let's unboxing to see what's on the inside. We get our manual. Let's look at it. Because they also offer the small footprint in a 600. Uh, I mean, a D, uh, you got the D4 one, 100, 200, those amazing high amp, and then you have a, D, a D600 and a D1100. Very small footprint amplifier. Let's see what the power rating is. The power rating on this amplifier is uh, F ohm 380 watts, 2 ohm 700, and at 1 ohm 1100. Mass current drives 1100 amps, 110 amps, which is nice. Signal noise ratio 80 dB. Uh, for the price point, that's great. With a dampening factor greater of 100. All right, now this is the entry level. This, this is a higher. This two levels higher than this. You have the DM amplifiers, and then you have the M series. Okay. Uh, oh, this is one feature that I do love about this amp. I want to bring it in. Not only the, the footprint, very, very small, as you can see. This amp can fit anywhere, 1,100 watts. But it's just a little bit bigger than my hand. Okay. Under a seat, under your front seat, under your driver's seat, under your rear seat. It's, you could put this thing in the glove compartment if you wanted to. You got a, a convertible. But 1100 watts on tap. 300 watts, for almost 400 watts at 4 ohm, 700 watts at 2 ohm. The features on it, that's impressive. It has a uh, nice RCAs with a pass through, uh, full except full gauge uh, wire, uh, nice remote in the middle here. The it has the gain from left to right, uh, phase, boost, subsonic, and the gain. And it also has jumpers. Now, the jumpers here are for you control how do you want this amplifier to turn on. Do you want to use the rim wire or remote wire, or do you want it to turn on by detecting signal with the RCAs? Nice. But a real nice feature that you get for this amplifier is this. You get a nice remote gain knob this it is it, it, it's got a smooth turn to it. it has a plastic housing but the pentiometer inside here it turns with a little resistance so you can if you set this amplifier up correctly you can control how much power how much wattage is actually making it to your subwoofers very long like a 16 foot cord so this that's adequate as well uh the mounting bracket for itself and it comes with tools to install everything that's a nice little key fit. Sign the screws and screw it down. The Allen wrench for the uh, remote connections, power and ground connections. Very small put in amplifier. You can put one on each sub if you wanted to, one on each. Uh, this recommended, I would recommend this size amplifier for uh, the 1100 series, uh, 1506. Putting a pair of 1506s on here, uh, or maybe a 1506 on each one. Uh, any of the Redline Power series. Or uh, any other subwoofer that you may want to use, but you don't have a whole lot of room, you can use this small footprint amplifier. Get him if you would like to get this. It's the number is 404-694-4818. And as always, listen responsibly.